to another video and today's video is a art supply haul. Now this isn't a typical art supply haul that I would normally do because this isn't something that I would typically buy. However, I've been having my eyes on either this or a different thing for quite some time because I've wanted to experiment with it for a long time and I figured that this here would be the proper first step in knowing if I actually like to do this stuff or not. And you're probably wondering at this point, what is she talking about? Well, I am talking about a stick and poke tattoo kit. Now ju this just came in today. I did open it to check if everything was in there as per proper. Um, I've ordered this off of Amazon and I was kind of wary with the um, reviews on us because it was really mixed and I didn't want to get something that ended up being shitty and I apologize for my language. So I was really wary because it was a mix of really high reviews and a mix of really low reviews for the kit. Um, I had also bought some fake skin, which is as you can see right here. So fake skin is to tattoo on so that you can practice so that you don't do it on yourself just right away until you're ready to. Um, so I had ordered myself some fake skin, which came in a pack of five. Um, ends up that the kit itself came with some, which it didn't show in the picture. So I got some fake skin here. I got some five pages of fake skin to practice on. So that's kind of cool. Um, this kit comes from Wormhole Tattoo. The box is beautiful. I was actually really impressed. Um, and it came with quite a bit of stuff. So we're just gonna get into it. Um, there is some stuff I'm not gonna open just yet because my station is not sanitized and I wanna make sure that things are sanitized before I get going. I, I need to clean my, my desk. Um, but yeah, so let's get opening in this. So as I said, it came with some more uh, fake skin, which I did not expect for it to come with fake skin. It also comes with, uh, this one specifically has eyes on it because this kit is for also eyebrows. Uh, and this one is just a plain tattoo skin, uh, tattoo fake skin, whatever you wanna call it. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna keep those with the other fake skin. Everything is still wrapped up. I don't know that there is even instructions in here to tell me how to use this. I'm more than likely going to have to figure out as I go. This looks like a pen, maybe? It's called Haxon, and it looks to be Japanese to me. Um, so let's get this open, because I can actually open this one and it not, yeah, exactly. That's a pen, probably to do your sketching and your lines, um, just so that you get your stuff done. In here, I got little ink uh, bottles. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is where you would pour your ink into. And the only reason I know this is because I have been religiously watching Ink Master for the past, I don't know, three weeks. I'm at season... I'm at season nine. Anyways, I had to check because it's on my screen right now. The serious COVID-19 vaccine plan is helping to stop the spread and save lives. What the heck was that? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but my whole thing just changed. That so you want to go pretty big. Okay. Anyways, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so this, you would put your little ink, your ink in, and that's where you would dip your needles and go in to tattooing your fake skin. Um, These are needles, both of these. Um, one it looks like to be for shading more than likely and the other one looks to be more for lining. Um, and you won't be able to really see them in here. They're really, really small. Like that's it right there where my two fingers, I'm holding it between my two fingers. That's the needle. And then the needle in this one right here is a little bit more. So this is the part that we put into my pen and then the, these are the needles right here. Um, 
I don't know what this is actually. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. Um, this is a ruler probably for um, eyebrows. I don't know. A disposable shaver to shave the area that you're going to tattoo. I got two types of ink. I got True Black by uh, Wormhole Tattoo, which is a black ink, and this looks to be more of a brown ink, probably for eyebrows. Um, that's my guess. Who knows? I don't know sh jack shit about this, so. This is the Tattoo Aftercare ointment. Came with a little tiny ointment thing, which is great, because um, eventually I am going to be practicing uh, doing a little one on my skin, so. Here we have the needle holder, and honestly, this thing is uh, some fancy shit. Like, it's really cool. Never in my life have I done this. I don't know what came over me to even purchase this kind of stuff. Um, I'm assuming these are little rings so that you can dip into, like, you have it in your finger, you have the ink in it and then you dip and tattoo some disposable gloves because you want to keep your station sanitary. I don't know what this is either and then I'm assuming these are some transfer papers. That's my assumption. Oh look at that little step-by-step -step guide. I was right for the most part. Tattoo bibs? Is, are these the bibs? No, these are definitely the transfer papers. That I know. You must be the tattoo bib. Okay, so this would be a tattoo ink from the sounds of uh, this little thing, and this would be a permanent makeup pigment. what is in the kit but I'm gonna assume that this is the bib that you put on the ground to uh, tattoo under yeah that's my assumption we'll go with that um, so I'm actually really excited so what we're going to do today is we're going to experiment with this you guys are gonna be learning as much as I am uh, with this, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the fake skins and we are going to do a little tattoo on this. So we create a little design and tattoo it. I, I do, I've never used this, so before I jump into anything, I'm actually going to go um, research a little bit and we're just going to do a couple of little designs on this and just have a little bit of fun and learn. Um, I'm not gonna do any final. You guys aren't gonna see me tattoo my skin on here because that's not the plan for this round. It's just to experiment with the tools that I have. Um, so yeah, I'm a little, I'm really excited, but I'm very anxious at the same time because I, have never been able to physically hurt anyone unless I absolutely like unless I'm put in a situation that means that I have to do it so that was one of the things about tattooing that terrified me a little bit is um, putting other people through pain even though I know that they want it that still worries me a little bit so we're gonna design a few tattoos on sketching and then I'm gonna do some research and we're gonna figure out where to go from here and you know learn as we go so let's jump into it
Okay, so it's actually the next day and I was trying to use uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, which is uh, used to clean wounds to kind of, I was hoping I was going to work to clean up this. Um, it looks really dark, so you guys can't actually see the little things that I did on here. Um, the kit calls for rubbing alcohol and the lower kind of rubbing alcohol, but I couldn't find that at my store. So we're going to, I went and bought some 75% rubbing alcohol. Now, if this would not be childproof, that would be great. There we go. So, and I got the spray bottle kind because, yeah, and I bought a big one because it was cheaper. So, I don't know. Let's see what this does. It smells like shit. Maybe leave it to soak a little bit. It's not really doing anything either so I'm just gonna bring it up to you guys so you guys can see what I did I did this little triangle triple triangle thing um, I attempted this little kind of leaf thing uh, probably should have done bigger because it kind of looks swatchy this one I don't really like it was supposed to be a flower and this one's a little cat so yeah, I mean, once you're up close and personal like this, you guys can actually see what's going on on these. Um, but I guess the ink was too dry on this to actually come off. So when I test it out again, we'll see how it goes. But overall, I really enjoyed this little kit. Um, I'm probably going to keep these for kit usage because there's it's not going to be used on my, my hands. Um, but yeah, overall, these were really, really fun to do, and it was, I would definitely going to keep working with this, so you might see another video with me, I don't know, doing a full tattoo on this, one of these. This is the one that came with the kit, if I remember correctly, so I'm curious to see how the ones that I bought separately are going to perform in comparison to this one. And I didn't get a try the shading needle. I didn't feel like it was necessary at the time, but uh, there's still spots on here that I could probably practice with. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that. Yeah. Um, this is a little bit of a curveball, but I kind of understand it. And once I'm comfortable, I'm gonna go ahead and probably practice on my hand. Um, I'm right-handed. I wanted so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm gonna do on my leg, like do a little B or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. But uh, yeah, this was actually kind of fun to do. And I'm looking forward to do it again. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Hello, you are listening to a pre-recorded outro. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, as well as the bell to be notified, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yumi-chan, over and out.